Number nine, Texas A&M takes on Missouri Saturday night at Kyle Field, and we'll get a bird's eye view of Johnny Football doing his thing to try to get A&M to a 10 and 2 record, maybe even the Heisman Trophy. The MetLife blimp, known as Snoopy One, will be hovering over the game to provide ESPN2 coverage. It arrived early in Ryan College Station, fresh off coverage of the Baylor Kansas State game in Waco last Saturday. News 3's Clay Falls climbed aboard to show us how the airship works. He's white, blue, and red all over and could be flying by your home in the Brazos Valley. MetLife blimp Snoopy One came to see the Aggie football team in action. Charlie Smith yeah, is the chief pilot. For seven years now and just uh, loving every minute of it. He's been all over the U.S. seeing the world from a different perspective and views of the biggest sporting matchups. The, the camera gets mounted uh, externally about here. The ground crew keeps the airship running smoothly. Assistant Crew Chief Kyle Boudreaux showed us the mooring mast, which secures the blimp like a windsock. This blimp never gets deflated. Uh, every place that we go, it flies. After a lesson in Blimp Operations 101, steering with your feet and uh, with your hands on the side. <laughs> it was time to fly. Culture traffic, uh, the MetLife Blimp Snoopy One is going to be pushing back from our mast. After a bit of a bumpy, rolling takeoff, we soared to 1,500 feet over Bryan College Station. Well, this is my first blimp ride ever, and we're getting a bird's eye view of the Brazos Valley. From Coulter Airfield, we headed to the Texas A&M campus, casting a pretty big shadow on Kyle Field. Our aerial airship tour continued toward Bryan. I'm trying to find the location of that stadium. Okay. Do you see it anywhere? And Merrill Green Stadium. Then towards downtown Bryan. I just got an opportunity to fly it and uh, early on and just kind of fell in love with it. So while this love affair continues, keep your eyes to the skies because Snoopy One might just be passing. Somewhere over the Brazos Valley, Clay Falls, News 3. Hmm. Pretty neat and pretty neat experience. For yeah, Clay. top speed, 40 miles an hour. Uh -huh. Pretty pretty darn fast, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not fast at all. Well, Snoopy 1 and 2 cover around 75 events a year across the country, while Snoopy J flies in Japan. Now, the crew says the public is welcome to see the airship at Coulter Field, but since it's an active airport, they request you stay back and not walk up next to it. Well, the weather has been very nice and quite warm for blimp flying. Still ahead, Bob will let us know what to expect heading into Thanksgiving. But first, how to stay safe as the holiday shopping season kicks into high gear.